Cardinal Bands, St. Michael, the Archangel, and Hail and Mary prayers and Mass. Chicago Cardinal Blaise Kupich demanded the cancellation of the prayer of St. Michael, the Archangel, and the Hail Mary after the Eucharist at St. Joseph's Parish, located in Riverdale, Illinois. Father Emmanuel Torres Fuentes announced the new ordinance at the end of the Mass on August 26, 2021, he gave full support to the Cardinal and said, I have to obey, but I am at peace. Okay, I have one announcement. What I'm going to say, I'm going to say this with a lot of respect. Okay. Following the directive of Cardinal Supish, we want to remind everyone that the prayer uh, to Saint Michael is not to be said publicly following Mass. This devotional prayer may be recited privately while being respectful of others in the church. Okay. Um, and also, just you realize that I like to say Hail Mary at the end of the Eucharist. But well, now I was told to to sing. Uh, instead of the Hail Mary. What is the thing? Uh, as a priest, I have to obey. Huh? And if I obey, I should do this at peace. And my heart is at peace. Okay? I was reflecting on this. Now I say, okay, that's okay. If the Colonel Supic says this, I have to to do it, right? But at peace, okay? Thank you. The Lord be with you. And now, we wonder, who is Cardinal Blaise Kupich? He's one of France's best friends, pro LD, TDI, and one of the most modernist prelates in the church. He recently presided at the Eucharist where the non-Catholic lesbian mayor of Chicago received Holy Communion. Kupich also ordered COVID vaccinations for all employees and clergy of the Archdiocese. Comments If anything is needed in our Catholic Church in these times of spiritual warfare, it is to invoke the powerful help of St. Michael the Archangel. In this infield world, we need the Blessed Virgin Mary to fill us with her grace and grant us conversion and holiness. Few are the good priests who promote the Holy Rosary and say the Hail Mary at the end of the Holy Mass. But this Cardinal Kupic has forgiven it. Surely Satan is very happy with all these developments within his new church. What a pity that the priest does not protest and leads a false obedience. What happened to the good ones in the church? And why are so many going over to the side of the bad ones? What else do they want to take away from the traditional church? They have destroyed the Tridentine Mass in Latin. They have introduced the Pachamama so that idolatry may grow. They have demolished the Sixth Commandment and opened the door to the LGTBI movement. They have opened the door to mix our church with other religions in false ecumenism. They are promoting a church without a cross. They are making vaccination a sacrament. For those who are not vaccinated will be in sin against the fraternity which they are teaching. The Antichrist has penetrated our Catholic Church. What we see is not Catholic. It is a new modern sect that is growing within the Church and that many cardinals, bishops, and priests are following. The sheep of the flock are confused. They obey the voice of the evil one who is forcing the church into apostasy, blasphemy, heresy, idolatry, profanation, and sacrilege. Dear brothers and sisters, please ask the Holy Spirit for discernment, for even the elect will be deceived. If you like this video, please give us a like.
subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. How do you feel about the continuous attacks on the tradition of the Church? God bless you.